If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and the Praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Dr. Box to talk with the news, man. Those of you that keep the book to tell you, you know, I was excited to see Caleb Sweet Hands Plant return to the ring finally, you know, uh, against Trevor McCumbie. You know, we haven't seen Caleb Plant since uh, he lost last March against David Benavidez by unanimous decision, which was a great fight. You know, Caleb Plant always have a, has, has great fights, you know what I'm saying? And my boy stand on business, man. So I was excited to see him return. But unfortunately, it has been postponed. Um, you know, his fight against Trevor McCumbie that was supposed to transpire on August 17th, you know, featuring uh, Stephen Fulton making his return, just losing to Naya in a way. And he was going to be fighting, who was he going to be fighting? Uh, uh, Ronnie Rios, you know, uh, Stephen Fulton versus Ronnie Rios. But uh, yeah, so instead of just moving some moving somebody up like Stephen Fulton to the main event, the entire card has been postponed. They have not specified a date yet when um, the fight will happen again, but they, they just intend to move the whole card and have the whole card still happen just on a different date, according to Mike Coppinger from ESPN, you know? So um, unfortunately, you know, the reason why I was canceled is because Trevor McCombie had, he, has, he he suffered a cut, you know, he suffered a cut. Um, <laughs> and it's crazy because a lot of fights have been postponed, you know, for injury reasons, you know. Um, we had, what, Arter uh with it, with his knee, you know. We had Tyson Fury, he sustained a cut. We had um, Matias and Tiafimo. Matias hurt his hand. Granted, that, was, that, that fight was never finalized, but they were looking for February. But then Matias had to pull out because he hurt his hand. And, and some, um, some other ones, you know, say Tim Zhu and Virgil Ortiz, when he sustained a cut uh, against him. Bastion Fedora that didn't heal properly. You know, he was supposed to fight Virgil Ortiz on August August um, August 3rd, you know, but now they're both fighting uh, different fights. Um, so there's been quite a few um, injury-related postponements, man. But those of you that are unfamiliar with Trevor McCumbie, you know, he's a relatively unknown fighter, you know. Um, he has 28 wins, 21 by way of knockout. So he's a big puncher. However, um, I will say this though, you know, he's not really known. This would be this would have been his first time fighting at the world, at, at the world class level. You know, uh, I guess I guess Caleb Plant. You know, um, he's never fought for a world title before. And I will say this too, you know, while he does have an impressive record of 28 wins or 21 knockouts, you know, uh, his last three opponents, being Trevor McCumbie, his last three opponents have a combined loss record of 30. Damn. I'm sorry. You know, they have 30 losses between between the three of them. So that's like an average of 10 losses per opponent, you know, for his last three opponents. Now, I'm not knocking Trevor McCumbie, but I do think that this is one hell of a step up, you know, when fighting Caleb Plant. But that's good because Caleb Plant is returning, like I said, from not only a long layoff, but it's, it's a long layoff after a loss, you know what I'm saying? After a loss of David Benavidez. So I think that this works out. You know, Trevor McCumbie will get his first taste of, of world class caliber boxing from his opponent and then Caleb Play will also get tested because it's one thing to fight somebody that is unknown but it's another thing to fight somebody that's unknown that has punching power and he's undefeated you know so um so yeah while this is while, while Caleb Plant should be the favorite um because there's levels it's, it's still it's still a challenge you know say considering all the circumstances so i look forward to this fight man I'm, i was a little uh sad that it got postponed but it was on august 17th you know the good news is that you know christian and billy versus sergey jervajenko's was is also scheduled for august 17th so it's not like we won't have any boxing on august 17th you know we can still see the christian and billy versus sergey jervajenko and, and in fact the young phenom abdullah mason's also featured on that card so we still have some a good week of boxing on the 17th good lord willing but you know i would like to see uh caleb play i'm hoping that that fight will be postponed soon and when they do give us a date an official date you know i'll let y'all know and give y'all an update man so that's it for today man that's all i wanted to talk about um you know so don't don't think that it's gonna get a new main event it's just the entire card's gonna be shifted so we'll, we'll still be able to anticipate seeing caleb plant and stephen fulton both make a return to boxing on the same day at the same time we just don't know that specific date and time yet <laughs> now that trevor mccubby suffered an injury man i appreciate y'all rocking me as always y'all be easy take care of yourselves remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing y'all be easy peace from the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.